Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about the PPG Wave version 3 BST. Now, for those of you who don't know about the PPG, <clears throat> the PPG is considered to be one of the first wave table synthesizers that was created. Um, it's created by a man named Wolfgang Palm from Germany. Um, this was made back in the 80s, and for its time, it was very much a remarkable synthesizer because of its capabilities it allowed you to use the samples of wavetables and you had you know a real analog envelope and a real voltage controlled filter you also had the ability with version 2 to have over 2000 different single cycle waveforms which is pretty ridiculous um <clears throat> Followed by the next update, they gave you the ability to utilize samples, and that was upgraded to 12-bit digital waveforms for its time. It had Fourier analysis and linear playback of samples. Later on, they added, you know, multi-timbrality and so forth, which is pretty cool. Like, I read some of the articles from Wolfgang Palm, and yeah he created a lot of cool stuff for the time he had a company <clears throat> back in the 80s kind of went under a lot of that technology unfortunately but it was able to be revived through the waldorf company and so a lot of the stuff that he created has been you know pretty much implemented into Waldorf's technology and you've seen it in synthesizers like the microwave and the blowfield, which I, I do have a blowfield. And yeah, man, it's cool to see. Um, he also retired Wolfgang Palm back in 2020. And, you know, <clears throat> it's supposed to be partnering up with, I think, Plugin Alliance. Anyhow, this plugin right here, PPG Wave, the VST version is very much a welcome addition for anybody who is, you know, big into synthesis and wants to have something different for their sound palette. I don't see a lot of people talking about this, like, hey, get that Wolfgang Palm synth, that PPG synth. Um, but I've only had it for a few days and I really enjoy it. <clears throat> it was on sale from audio plugin store if you caught the sale you could have got it for 20 bucks if not you have to wait until waldorf does a sale directly from their store and if you can catch it on their website i would recommend purchasing it because then you have all of the technology from that time frame you know implemented in this instrument now i won't go through every feature just because I'm still getting used to this plugin and how it operates. But, you know, I'll go over some of the presets and over some of the basics and talk about who it's for. So when you first open up the VST for the first time, you're going to get a straightforward layout with all the stuff that you see here. You know, you have your low frequency oscillator. You can determine the, the wave shape. You have the volume. You have three different envelopes, <clears throat> the ADSR envelope for one, uh, ADSR envelope for oscillator two. This is a two oscillator synth with a sub oscillator. It will allow you to upload your own transients. And I think you can also upload your own samples as well. You get a modifier, which is basically like the filter cutoff. It's the cutoff frequency. <laughs> That very much sounds like the preset that I have on the blowfield. Can't think of the name of it, but it would totally make sense because <clears throat> the technology is similar. So you got your filter cut off right here, and then the emphasis is basically your resonance knob if you dry. Sorry, I'm, I'm enjoying playing. 
Go through the different waves, and then you have the envelopes, the modifier controls here. You can also turn on your slope, your drive, true wave, PPG. I'm not sure exactly how that modifies the sound. I have to read the manual. All right. So you go over here to this section right here, you can mess with different parts of the program. All right, part one, you know, dictating what you want. Then over here you have Digi. And you notice as you click on this, you can go into this part. <clears throat> and then you can begin to change stuff like the transients, the type of wave tables. You can turn on the upper wave. Turn them on or off. Activate the arpeggiator. Turn it off. Subwaves, direct. You can change all that. Arp mode, up, down. Pardon me. Up, down, alt, random, moving. You can go into different key banks. Change the playback mode from polyphonic, dual, quad, mono. Uh, the ARP rate, again, you can dictate the speed. You have a lot of you know, flexibility. Your ARP range, one octave. Four octaves, one octave. That, that's cool. All right, and then the wave mode. So you can go from 2.2, 2.3, and 2.V. I don't know the differences between the versions I know. If I go back to this article right here, right, more counter, more commonly encountered wave 2.3 follow. All right, so you have enhanced sample playback abilities. 12 bit, I'm assuming, is going to change um, <clears throat> the playback mode or the playback rate for your samples. I'm not certain though, because again, I have to really sit down and mess with it. 2.3 will give you. Eight parts of multi timbrality and MIDI implementation. So I don't know what that would look like as I'm messing with this in the VST. But it's cool that they have it. You go here, you can do stuff like tune it, detune it, change the semitones, and so forth. Here's your modulation section right here. Here's your graph section where you can go in and modify your envelopes, your filters, and so forth. Right, you can change the sub oscillator you know, just by or the shape of the waveform just by clicking on it. Doing it that way. Same thing with the oscillator. Right, then you go to your group. You got your effects section right here. And so you can turn on the equalizer. You have overdrive, phaser, chorus, you know, delay and reverb, and you can adjust things here as you see fit. Again, here you can upload the transient that you want from your own personal files, change the sample rate, root key, start, loop, all that stuff, all the basics, panel, global, 16 voices, all the way up to, there we go, 256. So <laughs> this could work for anybody who's just trying to plug in simple notes to anybody that wants to do more complex, you know, uh, piano techniques. I apologize. All right. So going to this section right here, if you want to browse, click on the browse icon, and then you can pick the different sounds that you want to choose from. <laughs> I think I still got the arpeggiator on. So let's go back and see if I can turn that off.
Maybe I can't. Maybe that's just part of the preset too. Let's turn that off. Off. Go back to browse. Cool. That's not bad. Come on. So this is going to sound very 80s s very synth wave ish so you know at least that patch let's click on another one Keep in mind that if you don't like the the effects that are on the preset you can always use the stock plugins or your own effects plugins to modify these sounds all right let's see one more for this I could use this for a lot of different stuff. All right, so let's go back to the local library. And as you click on it, you got some different options to work with. <clears throat> you have all of the sound sets. Well, not all, part of me, I'm not sure. But you have sound sets from the version 2V factory sound sets and version 2.3 hardware unit sound sets and then you have these special sounds right here version 3v sound designers <laughs> put a filter on that and drive or not drive reduce the sound cut the volume down add a nice amount of delay bad at all let's do one more i'm not gonna make a beat today usually i don't make beats on this channel let's see see what we got when we do that all right that's the wolfgang palm bank let's see what we've got for deep phaser Sheesh. all right Okay, got a glockenspiel arc on this. Got some percussive elements. One thing I'll say that I do find annoying is when I'm clicking on these presets, I don't click on it just right. <laughs> it won't, you know, hit the preset for me. It's not a big deal. The volume on that is incredibly low. <clears throat> That's okay. But it's really low. Let's try that up. Let's 
as a saw tooth wave. That's cool. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. So yeah, here is the PPG Wave version 3. Uh, yeah, in VSC format. I think it's a really good plug-in for what you get. You're not going to necessarily be able to do all of the stuff that you would in Serum, at least not right off the gate. Um, <clears throat> But I find it to be a very welcome addition to, you know, your pre-existing, you know, collection of sounds. And in this case, what I like about it is that it it was built to recreate the feel of the hardware unit. Is it going to sound exactly the same? I don't know, because I've never played with the actual PPG before. But to have this the sound and have something that will kind of lend you to a specific set of sounds. And if you want to be creative with it, you can. I think it's really good. If you catch this on sale, even better. Um, so yeah, I would recommend checking it out and doing a demo and seeing what you think about the product. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm Tim Keys. I'm out. Peace.